you are welcome to the next section. Link to the previous section will be up here and also in the description below. Now at this point, we want to handle the route for the actual link that the user will be clicking on in the email and that will be a GET request. Remember the endpoint to be forward slash verify. This is preceded with the user. That is because inside the server.js file, we told the application to look for forward slash user before making use of the API that we have. Therefore, each route in the user.js file will be preceded with forward slash user before it is actually used. Also, while sending the link to the user, we attach some details which is the ID and the unique string. So while handling the route, you want to fetch those values. Now at this point, you're going to do a few things. The first thing we are going to do is to check if the verification record actually exists, otherwise we will return an error message. So we will search through the user verifications using the user ID. This will return a promise. Now for all the outputs that we'll be doing in this route, instead of returning a JSON object, we want to do something more. We want to return the user to a page where the error will be displayed, either a success message or an error message. So I have an HTML file that I'll be using. So let's copy the HTML file into our working directory. So we create a views directory and copy the file into it. Now inside the file, depending on the parameters that we pass in the URL, it will display a particular message, either a success message or an error message. And it will also customize the message on the screen based on the message that we pass in the link. So before we proceed, we want to create a route for the file and it will be a get route as well. Now over here, we want to return the static HTML file and we are going to make use of the path object, so let's import it. We make use of response.send file. This will refer to the current directory and the second parameter will be the path to the actual file. Since we are inside the API directory, we need to go back a directory before we can access the views directory and then to the HTML file. Now once we are done, we go back to our verify email route. So inside the catch block here, we set a message.
once you have the message we will redirect to the route that we have here and attach the message to it we are making use of the redirect because this is the only way we can call the route here and also pass the parameters that we need to pass The verified here refers to the endpoint here. First, we specify that it's an error. And then we add the message to it. Now we are fine here and we can go into the then block. Before we go, let's copy this. This will be the format for all the outputs. Now once you get the result, the result will be an array, so you want to check if the array is not empty. Else if the result is empty, we return an error message. So we paste what we copied from here. So what this means is that once we don't find the record in the user verification collection, it means that maybe the user has already verified the account or the user hasn't signed up at all. That's why we are telling the user to either sign up or log in. For the redirect, everything will stay the same. So once we are sure that the user record exists, the next thing we need to do is to check if the record has expired or not. Remember, we said the record will expire in 6 hours. So now we check if the record has not expired. So from the result, we distracted the expires that Remember this is an array so we target the first index. So to confirm that it has not expired, we compare the value of expires at to the current time. If the value of expires at is less than the current time, it means that the record is no longer valid. So once the record has expired, we'll go ahead to delete it from the user verification. And we'll delete this based on the user ID. This will return a promise as well, so we handle it. So we paste the message here too. And that's all for this section. We proceed in the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe for more to the point code.